Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Today I have a Halloween collaboration called Halloween. I will tell you a little bit about that a little bit later. All right, let's dive into the first project. For this one, I used Dollar Tree. It looks like a light bulb. And I'm going to use this burlap roll that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I actually traced out this little image from Google search. First thing I'm going to do is paint this with the orange pumpkin color. So I'm going to use this graphite paper that I got from Michaels. You can pretty much grab this anywhere. Any craft store usually carries it. So because I'm not an artist and I can't draw even a little cat, <laughs> um, I need to use the graphite paper. So I'm going to place this right over the pumpkin, not pumpkin, oh my goodness, the light bulb. And I'm going to place that image that I traced right over that. So I'm just using my pencil to trace out the image outline onto the little light bulb. So I'm going to be using this white chalk paint. I'm going to start off by doing the whites inside of his eyes. You know, it'd be so much easier if I had those um, paint markers and I don't. So this is the smallest little brush that I had. So if you do try to make this, I definitely would suggest getting those really nice markers to make it easier. So now I'm adding the white to his two little bottom teeth. So you can see that I actually used my black marker and just went over everything to make it darker. Um, so now I'm just gonna start painting inside his mouth. Now I'm gonna use the black marker to fill inside his eye. You can see I put little white dots right in between the eyes and the little one on his nose. This is such a cute idea. There's a lady on Facebook that she actually makes these so stinking cute. She makes them with light bulbs though, real light bulbs. I'm just using my marker to darken the lines on his face and just make it look more prominent. And look how cute that is, so stinking cute. To paint his nose, I'm going to be using this called Barn Red. I did use two coats. I wanted to make a couple more, but I didn't have any light bulbs to use, so, so I just made the one. But anyways, I want to make him look like a scarecrow, so I took this toilet paper roll, I cut it, and just created some little slices. I'm going to take this burlap and wrap it around the top because I'm trying to make a little hat for him and then I'm going to tie it off with some jute twine at the top. So I'm using the jute twine to tie it at the top if I can get my fingers to move. <laughs> So I need to cut it because it's too big obviously so I'm trying to make a circle it's not a perfect circle <laughs> by no means kind of looks like half circle half square <laughs> but it worked though it looks cute the light bulb has that very long neck I couldn't make it very long because then it would block his eyebrows and stuff but anyways I think it worked. So now I'm going to take some raffia and I'm going to start hot gluing it inside the hat all around his top of his head just to make him look like the scarecrow. So now I'm going to try the hat and see how it looks. You know, it looks cute. I'm trying to figure out where I want to place it. And then I'm going to add some more raffia. Like I said, I didn't want to make it too long because then it would block his face. And because it's that long neck, <laughs> it worked though. So I'm just going to place a little bit more raffia underneath. I added a little jute twine bow at the top.
And there you have it. Super cute scarecrow for Halloween. Okay, so I'm participating in this fall Halloween with a bunch of great crafters and the host today is Six Kids and a Glue Gun. The co-host is Crafty Hints and the other co-host is Rustic and Lace. Yes, take a look at these lovely ladies YouTube channel. I will also have the playlist linked in my description box below. So after watching my video, hop over and take a look at the playlist and take a look at their channel as well. Okay, let's get back to the projects. All right, project number two, spooky sign. Really quick and easy, really comes out adorable. I got this free printable, I downloaded it, and I'm gonna use the black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree, and I got this little sign from Hobby Lobby on clearance last year. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start painting the inside and outside with the Dollar Tree black paint. Now this piece I cut in half, I got it from Dollar Tree. It's one of their um, chalkboard little signs, the white ones. I just cut it in half. I'm gonna be placing an image on top of this because I want it raised once it's inside the frame. So I'm placing it over the image. I wanna make sure it's gonna fit and then I'm gonna trace it and cut it out. Although the inside is white right now, I just wanna refresh it. So I'm just gonna repaint it with some white. Because this is just printer paper, I don't want it to wrinkle and use Mod Podge, so I'm just going to use the glue stick to place it down. So now I'm going to place that little piece right in the middle. I'm just going to use some hot glue. Look how cute this came out. It's something you would buy like at Hobby Lobby or one of those stores like that. I think it came out so cute. Project three, I got my inspiration from Michael's. Yes. So I'm gonna take the spooky words and these rub-on transfers and the ghost and I used my Cricut and we're gonna have fun with this. I got these little pumpkins from Target Dollar Spot last year and painted them. I'm gonna use them for this DIY. So I'm gonna take this pumpkin color and I'm gonna start painting the outside tires with this color. Now I'm going to use a black chalkboard paint. I'm going to use this color to paint the whole truck, including the inside hubcaps. I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree Woodwards, and I want to grab the ghost. I'm going to cut the ghost from the spooky sign because I just want to use the ghost. So I'm just going to use my knife, and I'm just going to score it until I can actually break it off. See, it's that easy. So now I just need to grab some sandpaper and sand it down because it's a little bit... Um, rigid and sharp. Now I'm going to remove one of the ghosts from the package because I'm going to also use this as well. They're both going to get a quick coat of this white chalk paint. Now I found this on my Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to place it right on the side of the truck. 
I also placed a little spider web on the side as well. Now I'm going to take that little ghost and I'm going to place it right behind the truck. So it looks like he's appearing through the window, which I think is so adorable. And I'm just going to place it down with just a little glue. Now I'm going to take the larger ghost and I'm going to place him in the back of the truck as well and place it down with some hot glue. And I'm trying to figure out what to do with these pumpkins. Um, don't look good that way, so I decided to place them behind the truck. I added a piece of black fabric behind the ghost, so this way their eyes look black. Now I have the pumpkins in back. I'm going to take the ghost and I'm going to hot glue the ghost right behind the pumpkins. And look how cute this came out. It's so adorable. i seen another version like this actually at Michael's. I love Michael's if you haven't uh, figured that out by now. <laughs> but I think this really definitely came out adorable. So I want this to be able to stand up on its own. So I'm grabbing some jingle blocks. And I'm just going to angle it and hot glue it right behind the two tires, one on each side. And here's how it turned out. So stinking cute. Okay, project number four is going to be Halloween frames. These are cards from Dollar Tree. There's, they are actually two for a dollar, if you did not know that. And they do have some really adorable Halloween cards. So I took two Dollar Tree black frames I thought would be perfect for Halloween. And this is something very quick and easy. All you need to do is just get the right size frames, take the Halloween cards, cut them the size to make sure they fit inside the frame, and that is it. Just place it inside the frame. But I went ahead and added a little pumpkin to the sides from Dollar Tree, the little sticker pumpkins, and I also added a Dollar Tree ribbon made into a cute little bow at the top just to give it a little more cuteness. Now I'm just cutting the cards to size and then I'm going to place them right back inside the frame. Super easy, super cute, and very inexpensive. These came out really adorable. I just want to give you an idea what they look like and what type of cute Halloween cards Dollar Tree carries. The skeleton looks like he has to go potty. <laughs> it's too funny. So the next one is going to be the one that says Boo. It does get cut off just a tad bit, but it's okay. It's still stinking cute. And then I'm going to add the little pumpkin stickers at the end. And like I said, I do add a tiny little bow at the top, finish it off. And these are really adorable. Okay, project five. This is going to be a haunted tower. I grabbed this from Dollar Tree. I need to remove it from the stand. Um, I cut out this little circle with cardboard and I'm going to be using one of Dollar Tree little signs and I used my Cricut and I'm going to use some rub-ons and some spiders. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this white chalk paint and I'm just going to paint the little tag with this color. Now I want to use this Halloween piece and I just need to cut it off the stand so I'm just going to use my knife to score it and then break it off. Now I'm just going to sand down the ends to make it smooth. So I'm going to paint this little haunted house with the Dollar Tree chalkboard black paint. Now 
I'm going to be using Dollar Tree contact paper. I'm just going to cover that little cardboard circle piece that I cut out. This tag sign is another inspiration that I found at Michael's as well. I need an orange background for the haunted house so I grabbed Dollar Tree wrapping paper, the orange wrapping paper, and I'm just going to place the little haunted house on top and trace the out part of the little haunted house. Now that it's traced, I'm just going to cut it out. To place the haunted house on top of the wrapping paper, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Mod Podge, just only on the ends. And it fits perfect. Look how nice it looks. The bright orange with the black. It's so perfect. I cannot believe Dollar Tree carried this orange wrapping paper. I was so excited when I seen it. Now I need to add some bats to this little circle and I just cut off the little bat rings that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue two on top. So now I'm going to have to place the little haunted house on the tag so I'm just getting it situated because I need to actually place that uh, round cardboard circle down, make sure it's enough room. and. Once I have it situated, then I'm going to start using some hot glue. Now I'm just getting an idea where I want to place my Cricut vinyl to make sure there's enough room on the board. So I'm going to start off by placing down the Halloween vinyl piece down at the bottom and then work my way up. Now I'm going to start placing everything down using my hot glue. I'm going to start off by placing down the little round cardboard piece. Then I'm going to place down the haunted house. And then I'm going to apply the little bats on top of the little round cardboard piece. So now I'm going to be taking these rub-ons that I got from Dollar Tree. They're amazing. Dollar Tree has so many rub-ons for Halloween. And I'm just going to be using the little ghost and I'm just going to apply it right on top of the haunted house. Sometimes the rub-ons work amazing and sometimes they're very difficult to scrape on. Sometimes they don't want to. It depends. I think it depends on how old they are. Um, but you could just take a little card or something to scrape it on and then remove the little plastic film on top. Now I'm just going to be adding a few more of those little bat rings. Place two on the side and one at the top. I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. I want to thank you so much for your support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you have not already subscribed, I hope you do. And I hope you're enjoying this video so far. So I want to create a little messy bow. I'm going to grab this ribbon that I got from Michaels and this ribbon from Dollar Tree and another one from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take a couple strips and wrap it with the black ribbon like in a knot and then hot glue it to the top. And that is it. This came out super cute. All made with Dollar Tree products and what did it cost? Maybe two or three dollars when Michaels, I believe Michaels was like $24 I believe they were selling it for. I'm not sure but it was pretty pricey. So they were kind of long, so I'm just going to trim the ends. Now I'm just going to add a little glue and place down the ribbon. Because it was just a little bit too long, I'm just trimming the ends again. And this is the end result.
Project number six. If you ever thought about what to do with these little Dollar Tree cube blocks, I'm actually going to make two, but one off camera. I'm going to use the Dollar Tree stickers and rub-ons. I'm going to start off by painting with this orange pumpkin paint. Now we're going to start decorating this. We're going to use all the rub-ons and the stickers from Dollar Tree. And we're going to make this look like store-bought. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of the rub-on stickers. So the first one I'm going to be placing down is the spider web because I'm going to actually grab the number three and number one and place that right over the spider web. So here I have the number rub-on transfers that I'm going to be using for this project as well. Dollar Tree has so many rub-ons. Oh my God, so many to choose from. So I'm just going to be using the number three and the number one. Sometimes... The rub-ons go on nice and sometimes they don't so the one didn't go on very well so I'm just going to fill it in with my black marker. So now I need to add these rub-on letters to the number 31 to make it look like the 31st of Halloween. Doesn't it look super cool? Use the haunted house rub on, and I'm going to place that right on top. I'm going to be placing down the little witch sticker. You know, after I started making this, I was like impressed. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this little Dollar Tree wood box turned out so amazing. So I'm going to grab this happy Halloween sticker and place it on the other side. Now I'm just going to place down that bat that's in a pumpkin form right underneath. I also added a black spider. Now I'm going to be using some black paint some, to do some dry brushing around the edges and just a little bit inside just to make it like really Halloween spooky feel to it. I also made a yellow one off camera and I'm going to show you how they both turned out. I think they came out amazing. Project number seven, this is going to be the last one for this video. I took Dollar Tree little pumpkins, I went ahead and just used some spackle for the little holes and I printed, no, no I didn't print this out, I actually traced it, I found it on Google and I find these images all the time on Google. I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree pumpkin cutouts and a lot of these fluorescent colors. Now I'm going to be painting all three pumpkins with this black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. So in order to get this image on the pumpkin, I'm going to have to 
turn it over and just mark some chalk in the back so this way when I trace it the chalk will actually appear on the pumpkin because I can't use the graphite paper because you won't see the black. So next I'm going to place the image right over the pumpkin and grab a pencil and just trace right over it. And this is what it looks like with the chalk outline. So I'm going to start off painting with this pink fluorescent paint. I got all these paints from Michaels. Um, the fluorescent, I like the fluorescent because it just like illuminates. It's so much brighter than regular paint. So I'm going to paint one eye pink and the other eye will be yellow fluorescent. Now the other two pumpkins, obviously I did off camera because it would be too time consuming. One, I just actually uh, used my white marker pen and then the other one I actually used the fluorescent colors. And I will show you everything at the end. They come out really amazing. Now I'm starting off with the pink fluorescent for the mouth and then at the end of his mouth, I added a little bit of the yellow, kind of like blended it in and I think it came out really nice. Now here's where I'm going to add the yellow on the corner of his mouth. So here's where I'm going to take my black marker and make some little round circles to make them look even scarier. And this is how all three of them turned out. I think they came out absolutely amazing. Here's all three of them together. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It makes my channel grow, and don't forget to take a look at the playlist in my description box. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.